And if there's one message to all the trainees out there, look, um, your successes will leave you. Every single great operation you ever do will leave you. And you're only left with your failures. And that's one of the problems of infection. Those ones you can't cure, you know, they're yours forever. And yet you learn from them. You learn about managing the patient. Even if you can't cure the infection, you talk about pain management, you talk about comfort, you talk about dressings, you talk about their independence, mobility. You make sure that they are sleeping well. You make sure that the, the, um, the wound isn't smelly. You know, you, 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 there's lots of things you can do as a clinician. And even though I failed as a surgeon, I haven't got rid of the infection, there's still a job to do. And I've got three, four, maybe five patients in that category that really I can't do anything for, but I see them, I talk to them, uh, you know, I try and give them a shoulder of a cry on occasionally because it's hard. And that's, I think, the greater, greatest value I do, you know, it's, it's almost with my failures, where I'm still trying to be a good clinician. Whatever you do, never resign unless you've got a job to go to. And, you know, there are moments in your career when you're just not enjoying the job. You think, you know, I'm, I've had enough of this, I'm leaving. And you've got to think about the long term and have some perspective. And all the, anybody young, you know, in the 20s and 30s, listen to this rubbish I'm talking. Look at your mum and dad, okay? Because I guarantee when you get to your mid 50s, you will become your mum or dad.